Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. In this fight, we're taking out the gargoyles, but I got a special treat for you. Since last video I couldn't show a proper fight with the pursuer, I'm showing this one. And whether he's the actual boss fight or just being summoned in one of these, I think, five areas, the fight's the exact same. He has the same attack, same patterns, it's just in the boss fight, I'm pretty sure he's a little bigger. Uh, so nothing to it. If he comes your way, you, you slightly walk to the right and wait to attack. I'm getting a little greedy here, that's why I'm getting tossed. Hit him, and we're done. So now on to the gargoyles. The frustrating gargoyles. So there's the bell covenant, we're gonna go upstairs. This is the most important part of the gargoyle fight when fighting them with the greatsword. Make sure you use a human effigy, or whatever they're called, become a human and summon this guy. Because my lord without him is this borderline... I won't say impossible because it's not. <laughs> but did it frustrate the shit out of me. So that guy's dead. We got the shadow summoned. We're going to take out these little buddies. Gate's already open. As you can see, I was getting so frustrated, I actually died outside the gate. Coming up to these gargoyles. That's how much I hate these gargoyles. So I'm using the magic ooze. Going to walk in the fight. And flex on these flying turd burgers immediately to the left the first one gets stumbling on the first pedestal swing away now our shade hasn't entered the battle yet our little NPC helper and I believe the second gargoyle comes in right as he comes in too yeah that's just bad timing I should have waited for him at the gate so now you can see if he wasn't here I'd be getting ganked by two of these guys I only took out the first one just to realize the mr. third guy is already on the way over in the corner there if you see him now these guys can fly they could uh, shoot magic at you. They have uh, lots of physical attacks. They jump to the side and do a sweeping attack right away. And this is why you have the NPC. He's just there to take hits, soak up some damage, pull aggro, and you can just take advantage of it. It also gives you like a nice window to heal. Again, if, if I hadn't killed these gargoyles and there was three of them on me at once, you, you know something's getting thrown. The monitor's getting blamed. I'm gonna be punching the TV something it's so frustrating I, I have no way to get this rage out other than to pull get an NPC and just take care of these guys with the help of I can't see his name right now but he is appreciated and that's a victory so if you like the channel you like what I'm doing you're enjoying yourself uh, please like and subscribe check out other content I put out I have a main channel J Daddy TV here on YouTube I do a lot of goofy stuff over there uh, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope your week treats you well. You know, you've been you, you've seemed a little down lately. So just hang in there, tiger.